In Japan, a chimpanzee escaped from the zoo and he was on the loose and finally found freedom. As you can see here, take a look at the teeth. Could you imagine that biting into you? Now this chimpanzee was escaped for about an hour and he decided to climb up the electrical lines. And you can see where they shot him with the tranquilizer dart and boy, look, he was coming after that guy. Luckily, if you look at the lines, it looks like they're coated with something because normally, if you were to touch both of those lines together, those are high voltage lines and they would almost instantly kill you. It's an incredible how much electricity or power is running through those high voltage lines. If you go outside and look at the power lines, you'll see they have no black coating on them. If you look at these, they look like they're insulated with a coating on them. Because normally if he's in America, he would already been shocked and fell to the ground, maybe dead. There is so much power that runs through these lines, it's very high voltage. Now, as he comes over here, if you look closely, you can see he puts his left foot. Now, when they zoom in here, you can see how his left foot's on that metal bar and then you can see where he was touching the line now if you see where that circle is that piece is right there is bare and that's where his hand was it looks like that insulation they didn't have insulation right there and if you look where his foot was it was touching that bar and that bar was probably grounded so then he took a big hit he he's very lucky he didn't get the full brunt of it because you can see it just kind of it kind of stunned him but it didn't kill him and so he's hanging there, he's trying to hang on, and with all the sedative that's going through him, he's probably just really ready to give up. If you look closely right here, you can see he, he finally, he can't hang on any longer, and he hits the other wire, but luckily these guys are smart enough to have a tarp down there to catch him. I bet if he gets another chance to escape, he'll know what not to do. He'll probably head straight out to the countryside to live in freedom.